So now we're headed into the Galaxy Pavilion. This is the virtual reality center here on board, debuted for the first time on the Norwegian Joy, and it's incredible how much technology has evolved even since the launch of the Joy. So we've walked through a very, very cool entranceway. We're greeted by our friend here, and it's gonna wrap all the way around. So this does come at an additional cost, I wanted to point that out, but there is so much fun to be had in here. Let's start on this side. So as you walk in, what you're gonna see is a wide variety of rides. So just behind me, you have this really large center here. You can see where you can stand right in the middle. So there's four different areas. And what's really cool with a lot of these is you can play a variety of games. It's not just one option. So here you can dance along, party, doing a little hopping back and forth. That's a lot of fun. Though my favorite, I think, so far is the dark ride. So right here, you can go with up to seven additional friends. So you can get eight in there at one time. You put on the 3D glasses, you can hunt zombies, you can hunt werewolves, and you're part of the ride experience yourself. We've had a blast. We've been back several times already. Now behind me is the VR maze. You'll recognize this from some of the previous ships as well. You put on the VR goggles, and even though it's a relatively small space, you're reacting to the virtual reality. And that's what all is about in here. You have different 3D, 4D, and as they say, this is a 7D ride. Just behind me, you can see them racing, which is an absolute blast. I did that one as well. And one of the really cool things about a lot of the rides is there's a screen where you can actually see what they're seeing. I gotta say, that's a lot harder than it looks, but it is an absolute blast. Now, as we continue around, you've got another racing game right here. You've got a little bit more information on the games that you can select. So you can see that you can tap there to pay. Um, and then as we head right around the corner, you're gonna have a sports area. So I did play golf here yesterday, but it looks like you can play hockey, soccer. There's quite a few different options, even football. And once again, you're interacting with the screen. So they've got the sensors wrapped all the way around here. Grab your Cubs, play your favorite course. Now over on the side here, you've got a really cool interactive VR Sea-Doo style game where you can play with up to three friends. So there's four passengers that can utilize this. And what you'll see is the entire wall is a screen. What I've really been astounded by is the advancements in the technology. You can see that that LED screen is absolutely perfect. In fact, I'd love to watch the Super Bowl on that myself. It's absolutely massive and a lot of fun. Now wrapped around the middle area, you're gonna find a racing game. So you can do a little Formula One racing. Once again, this is familiar for those who've seen it on the other ships, but as the advances go along, you're really going into the future. Just behind me here is the Lightspeed Cup. You can see it's another one of those games where they've got four seats. Now that's something I really appreciate. They've got solo games, or you can come with your friends and just have an absolute blast. Now, as we continue around the other side here, You've got the VR Infinite Battle. So this is another one of those battle style games here. You've got Beat Hero. Think of Dance Dance Revolution to the absolute infinity. And then right here is the VR Starship. I did a roller coaster ride here, but like all the games, they can mix and match and make it into all kinds of different things based on your personal preference. Now we're gonna head right around the corner here. You have these cages set up. And what's really cool about that is same thing. It doesn't look like much from the outside, but when you put on the virtual reality goggles, you step in there, you can play a variety of games, and basically you're, you're having a little bit of a space fight, if you will. Now I wanted to point out one thing. This is what you're gonna utilize here on board. Of course, they clean everything, but it's pretty cool because you put that on and then you'll keep this with you and you can utilize that with all of the goggles. Now finally is the escape room. So just behind me here is the escape room. It's exactly what it sounds like. You can get together with a group of friends, put your skills to the test and see who gets out first. That was an absolute blast. And you can imagine gathering with friends and family to have an incredible time. Just one more amazing option here on the Norwegian Prima. Now, when you're ready to make the Prima your home away from home and book your next cruise, make sure you reach out to Har Travel. We are your cruise experts. We know the space is inside and out. We have an amazing relationship with the cruise line, and we know that we can help craft the cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value, and even hunt some werewolves and zombies with you.